Wee. Woo! Good morning, folks. It's Richard King, the fishing machine here. You know, I want to share with y'all this fishing trip right here. This fishing trip right here was extremely unique, just like any other fishing trip that I go on. Each and every one is different. Now, this is a situation where I'd found some fish or seen some fish schooling. I've seen a lot of surface activity. Okay. And the majority of the fish that were surfacing was skipjack herring. Um, of course, it's hard to tell from a distance what you have. It could be white bass. It could be largemouth, spotted bass. It could be hybrids, uh, small stripers. It could be most anything. But in this case, it was just hundreds, maybe a couple thousand, I don't know, of skipjack herring. They were all over the place, herding up shad, which were about this size, right here, and eating them. So, I threw everything at these fish that I had and couldn't get any reaction whatsoever. Now, if you've ever run into a situation like that, and I bet you have, as an angler, come up on a bunch of schooling fish and could not hardly get one to bite. If you did just every once in a while, you'd get a bite. You'd think, how in the world are they not just killing my baits? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's real simple. The first thing that I do when I run up on a situation like that, is I'm looking for shad. I'm trying to see how big, what size shad these fish are feeding on. And you hear it over and over and over again, matching the hatch, matching the hatch. It's so important that it's almost elementary because a lot of times in fishing, we'll um, overanalyze the situation and miss the point. And there's no doubt in my mind, when fishing is tough in the summertime, I will match the hatch just as close as I can as far as the size, for size of what they're feeding on. By doing that, there's no telling what you can catch. Just because skipjack herring is the main fish that's feeding, even though you may not have an abundance of other species, you will have other species around. And this video will show this. I mean, I caught a different variety of species that were under the surface activity as far as the main schooling. And that's all that was going on. They skipped Jack Herod. They were herding up these bait fish, pushing them up to the top and feeding on them. Now, the injured shad were drifting down the water column, and the average depth I was catching these fish was anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of water. And they were fish midway in the water column, and they were also fish on or near the bottom. And my bait, the bait that caught the most fish was a sample one. And I th remember, I threw everything in the world out of my head. Crankbaits, Alabama rig, I threw top waters, all kinds of different stuff with no results. But when I matched the hatch, I started catching fish. And just a simple 1 8 ounce jig head um, with a trick shot, which... Um, I used to fish mainly with sassy shads. I'd have different sizes of sassy shads, which is a fantastic artificial to fish under these conditions. And um, you can, you never know what you're going to catch, even on the dog days of summer. I want to thank y'all very much, and I hope y'all enjoy the video. There we go see what we got right here now. Well, I'll be dang. 
Look here, folks. Looky here, looky. Let's flip him in the boat. Oh my goodness. What a crappie. I want you to look what a crappie out here in amongst all this. That's a white crappie. I didn't expect this, but that's why y'all need to go fishing. Golly day. Man, oh man, oh man. But look what a white crappie. That's a big one. Look how he choked that bait down. I tell you what, they ain't nothing like it. The sport of fishing. And the reason I caught this fish is because I brought all kinds of stuff with me, so I'm mixing it up out here to catch whatever I can. Dog days of summer. But look at there, look at there. Let's let him go. I'm tickled. I just love the fish. It's a sport. Well, second to none. Let's let him go. That bite right there, it was a real subtle bite, and I thought, well, that feels a lot different than a white bass or a large mouth or a spot or whatever happens. But crappie follow me around, folks. Let's let him go. Go on back. That water's hot. He'll regain his balance, and there he goes. Whoa! Doggone it. I'm talking about whoa. Okay, let's catch another. Look at the bird, the birds. Now I'm just letting it make bottom contact and just jumping it. Moving it just a little bit. I'm just trying different depths, testing waters until the schooling starts back again. There's another one right there. Let's see what we got right here. Little bass. Hey, little largemouth. Now, the largemouth may be moving in now. That's what I've been waiting for. Quit, 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 quit. No, stop it. Dog, go in. Hey, stop. No. He's cute, though, ain't he? Let's let him go. He was up in the water column little bit this is a good little old bait i'm throwing right here folks it'll catch everything anything if you're a saltwater fisherman this particular bait right here it's called a trick shots by z-man and it works wonders on a jig head it'll catch them all it'll catch speckled trout redfish Oh my goodness, freshwater species, just like I've caught. I've caught a crappie and a bass with it so far. There we go. What we got here now. Look at here, folks. Let's see what we got right here. Let me loosen this drag off. I just kept on. Look here, what a fish. This is a smallmouth right here. Didn't expect a smallmouth. Hot as the water he is, not right here, but don't matter. I got it. For right now, I do. <laughs> they ain't a fish. They ain't a bass on earth. That fights like a small mouth. Come on in here. Now this is a bonus for me. Okay. Oh my, 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 my. And that fish was in eight feet of water right there. I kept seeing them. Fish, like I'm saying, they're not schooling. They're coming up a little bit and then they'll go down. And I keep seeing them on my depth finder, like right there. Y'all see that? That's skipjack herring for the most part let's get this fish off i'm going to show y'all what a pretty fish now i know that's not a very big small mouth to a lot of people but uh folks i'm having a ball catching all kinds of different species and i'm not done yet but is that not a that's a beautiful bronze bag look at that little mouth right there hemp's pretty 
Let's let him go. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. For all of us. Watch him now. Watch him. He only know. Watch him now. Boom. He's gone. Whoa. Oh, gone it. Whoa. You got to have a Coca Cola right beside you. Mm. Mm. I'm hyped up. I'm high on life. That's all there are to it. My goodness. Folks, at the species I've caught. Now all we need is a big old large jaw head. A big head. Or another small mouth. <laughs> it don't make no difference to me. Oh, at all. There's one. What do we got? What do we got right here? I believe it's a little spotty bass. It is. He's a chunk, though. That's a little spotty bass right there. So I've caught a large mouth, a spotty bass. Quit, quit. And a small mouth. That's a little. I'm having fun. This is what um, a, a multi-species fisherman does right here. Catches them all using all kinds of different techniques. Let's let him go right here and quit talking about it. Y'all just need to go fishing when you can because it's good for you. Well, folks, I didn't catch a lot of fish today, but I sure did have a lot of fun. And that's what fishing's all about. There's no doubt about that. I want to say this. I want to say thank each and every one of y'all for everything y'all do. Keep those lines wet. Okay, just keep them wet. Hey. Whoa. Y'all gone it. I am talking about Woo! Go fishing when you can, fuck all this good food!